Right, hi there, hi guys. Um, right, what am I doing? Today, I'm traveling light and this makes such a nice change. I've got my good old Zeiss Icon Netar 6x9 camera and um, I'm up at Tahiti Woods near Camborne. Never been here before, just taking the dog for a walk, taking her for a stroll. Bluebells in, you know, are here big time now, but I'm shooting black and white. Uh, I'm going to use FP4 and I'm probably going to um, do a few pano shots. Uh, there'll be panos on the beach as well. That's already done. Not overly confident about the shots I took, to be honest with you. Uh, we will find out a little bit later. So yeah, Tahiti Woods really, that was the, always the original plan. There are some amazing trees here, uh, but it's a big place and I don't know where they are. So I'm just gonna wander around and hope to find something worthy of a photo. So yeah, that's what we're doing. The viewfinder on this camera is somewhat archaic and it, it can be quite challenging sometimes to find, find a composition. The fact that I shoot six by nine and then crop a bit, top and bottom, gives me an element of leverage, really. So I have no idea what's going on here, but they seem to be having fun. I've got an orange filter on, which is bringing my exposure time down. And that was F16, two seconds. Only problem is I messed up and I forgot the cable release. So I had to kind of stabilize the camera for two seconds. So, uh, oof, oof, fingers crossed, I'm guessing. Wonder how old these trees are. Quite spooky in a way. Yeah, it's knotted, knotted trees. This photo here was um, F16, four seconds with the orange filter. So I just set this one up here. Uh, I'm looking at F11 125th. It is so hard. There's so so many limitations of this camera when it comes to shutter speeds. I'm just waiting for these people to move out of the picture for me. So at last I found one of the iconic trees in Tahiti. Um, unfortunately there's just nothing iconic about the light um, and there's nothing iconic about this composition. I've got three shots left on the film. I'm going to use two on this tree and then save one just in case I find something on the way home or on the way back to the car. Uh, this one's going to be a uh, portrait shot and then I'm going to try a landscape shot sort of pano-ish, really close in on all those roots, just to see, see what that looks like. But yeah, look at the light. Got that orange filter on, I've been on there all day because this lens is quite low contrast. So anything I can do to kind of help boost that up a little bit. And it's the only filter I've got that fits this camera as well. This is the end of the film now. Uh, and the last shot I'm just about to take, F16, two seconds this is gonna be and I've managed to find this one and yeah super cool tree uh, it would be a lot easier if I had my Hasselblad with me and, a, and a, a collection of lenses to play with it has been a struggle today and uh, I'm almost expecting to see some really bad photos that's the truth of it the light is actually just starting to try and break through the clouds so I'll kind of hang in here for a minute and take this last shot, shot eight on the six by nine. 